Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, so today's episode is brought to you by Logitech. Not really, no, I'm, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, seriously. Uh, last episode I kind of was like, hey, I wanted to order some uh, new... Oh, hold on. Nice audio glitch. There we go. Let me get that out of the way real quick. This as well. Um, so uh, I tried to order some new Logitech toys and I was ordering direct from Logitech for some reason they had the best prices even over Amazon and New Egg and they decided to up and cancel my order. I was talking about that in the last episode and so oddly enough uh, today I received a package in UPS from Logitech. They shipped my order, but canceled the payment. So, um, I'm not sure. So, as, as the time, at, the po at this point in recording, I've still yet to be uh, uh, dinged for uh, dinged, charged, uh, what you call it, for the equipment. Um, it's kind of crazy. I'm not sure <laughs> I want to go about this because, well, I, I want these toys. So, um, so yeah, okay, in the last couple days, uh, I've been in a spot of a dilemma. Um, um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to be fuddling around a little bit because my keys are this keyboard is slightly different than the last keyboard so there's gonna be some uh, loss uh, where I'm going with things oh, excuse me um, so last couple of days uh, I've had a huge huge crisis uh, my ISP for some reason blocked my VPN uh, so let's uh, step out of geek talk there my internet service provider has uh, decided that they wanted to block my connection to my work. Um, I do work from home, and um, just out of the blue, I've been working from home remotely. Um, I'm five states away from uh, my home office. Um, I've been working remotely for nine months now through this internet service provider and just out of the blue come Monday they just up and blocked my internet connection just not my internet connection just my connection to work uh, the connection is called a VPN and uh, <laughs> so yeah they just up and decided that oh Havoc doesn't need to work today he doesn't need to make monies uh, monies is irrelevant, although we, the, the ISP people, want monies. So, I've been uh, kind of struggling the last couple of days to obtain a work connection and all that fun stuff. So, as a result of that, in backlash, uh, I ended up working a very, very, very long late day today. Uh, not that I care. I'd still be in front of my computer anyway. Either that one or this one. But, um, yeah, so this episode's going to be a little bit on the short side. Uh, what I'm going to try to do on this episode is, um, as you can see, I'm working a little bit on the station here. Um, I'm going to do a little bit on the station. Um, what I had planned for this episode was we work on the, uh, the trolley system for the Castrell, and I just don't have the time for that tonight. Um... I was going to work on the longbow as I was logging in. I'm like, hey, we can work on this other side of the longbow. That's going to get in-depth as well. So what I'm going to do here is um, I think I'm going to work on the glass, uh, at least the, the major part of the structure of the glass that's going to be here. Um, that's about center, right-ish. Let's take a look here. Let's take out a couple blocks here. Okay, so we need a 3x3. Three three. Uh, so that way you have a center point. There's a center point. And let's go down and take a look. Go down here. Whoa, we'll rotate. 
Oh, that's way off. Uh, I think it needs to be... It's there. I think it needs to be there. Hmm. Because it's nicely placed for the area above it. But um, I think... Yeah, because the area above it's what matters. Um, quite honestly, the ship would be like, eh, there's glass there. That's kind of cool. So, uh, this will be the center. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to here, and we're going to do... Um, okay, so we're building this as station blocks. Okay, that's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so remember when we did... Um, <laughs> Flashback. Um, we go back to when I was working on the barge. We did that upside down glass structure, and I was specifically saying, "Hey, we can't take this center structure out because if we do, the glass will pull it away." That won't work with. That won't happen with here. As this is a uh, station, the blocks never move, so we have to hit them in order for them to move. So let's go with some, oh wait, do we have glass on a toolbar, I think? Um, yes, we do, but not the stuff we need. So let's go with, it's one by two slope. And so one by two inverted face, which is right next to it. Okay, so we'll go with that. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go with this. And we're gonna do it like, that? No, wait. All right, so the idea is is that we're gonna come down, we're gonna walk onto the glass, right? So, I think this is too steep. Let's see here, let's go back into here. Um, that's flat, 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 flat. The one by slope. Hmm, all right, so. All right, uh, uh, bear with me guys, I'm working on this here. Um, so if we wanted to walk on this, how would we want this to be? So let's say like that. That's not steep enough. But the other way is way too steep. Like that is way too steep. So if we go to here, put this down, put this down. I guess that's not too bad. Okay, so we need some girders. Let's go grab those real quick. I saw that on my toolbar the whole time. I just, for some reason, didn't click on it um, that we needed to come over here. So, okay, so we need some girders. We'll take all of the girders. Okay, so. All right, let's see here. I think that's going to be too steep. I don't know. Let's see here. We got gravity, so let's take a look. Oh, wow. That is. Yes, that's way too steep. So, we'll stick this out. Let's look at the one by and see what the angle is on those. Um, the one by sloped. All right. Oh, that looks a little bit better. It's like kind of like a mix in between. So we can come down like two of these. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we're gonna want to come down two of those to um to um to the tum. So we have a three by three, right? Is that the biggest? The two by three, yeah, three by three flat. That's what we're gonna wanna come down to. 
this big guy right there. So, in order to do that, we need to go. Let's see here. Uh, oh, really? I could structure an entire sentence. I'm really good at it. Just uh, today. Not so much. Alright, so we're going to put it back in. This guy's right here. No, not that one. I meant this one. Okay, so we can do this. And we come down. One, two, three, two. I think two. We're going to come down two. And then we're going to place back in this guy. So I think we can place that thing by center point. Yep, that's exactly what we want to do. And it's a shiny, shiny side out. So that's going to go like that. And then we're going to bring our sloped. It's key seven. These guys. So I think we're going to have to put some blocks in here, so I'm going to throw our light armor block here, just so we can uh, switch to it when we need it. So we're going to do this, come around the other side, and where's it, seven, yeah, there it is, there, oh man, we got that spot on, sweet, alright, okay, that works, so that's going to be like that. So we're going to go two out and then over. Okay. So we'll come over here, rotate this around. One, two and three. Place a block down. Place another one for the shenanigans that it takes to place some glass. And boom, boom, boom. And so since we are no longer needing. freighter taking up all my lag or all my frame rate. So let's take this out and this out. Okay. That's gonna look pretty slick. So we're gonna take all these out. Because none of this will be needed for support. Because we like I said before, we're working with the station block. Alright, so then I'll do an inverted block here as well. So these will be. Let's come back in here. So these will be these blocks here. Like that. So I'll carry that that idea all the way around so you're gonna have this nice sloped all right let's go ahead and climb up here and then burp, check back off all right so cool we're gonna be walking around really and we're gonna see this and we'll be like oh whoa what's this we're gonna come down here this will be all glass that's awesome that we can just stand here like this so this will be all glass and we'll be able to see the ships come and go as they wish uh, we'll see how much of this we can get as glass as well. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how the angles will line up with the glass that's in the game. But uh, this is the kind of the the idea that I had from the beginning of how I wanted this to, to work out. So... Boom. Boom. So, yeah, that's... This is where I want this to go. <clears throat> so I think uh, also we'll do something like a reverse or an inverted version of that. Let's get some jet package. To where it comes up like this. Like this. Get rid of these guys. And you. So we'll come over here. We'll do this. And then we're going to do this. So we're going to put this window down, and I want the clear side the other way, so not sure how that would work, but the idea that I had was is that um, we take some displays, 
and put above it. Um, maybe we'll just put displays up there instead. Not sure. This will take some. Uh, this will take some work. Um, but we'll do something like this, to where you can have some some cool information or you know, have some random pictures splashing up there of ships and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll 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 work on that. We'll get that uh, into the mix. So this is kind of where I was going with for the little glass observatory down here. So you can come down here and, and check it all out. Let's see, can I? Can I? No? no? You don't want to let me weld that up? Okay. So <laughs> let's go down and grab. I know what we should grab first. First and foremost, let's grab some suit energy. There we go. Oh, so Logitech stuff. Um, I got the Logitech 910 Orion Spark keyboard. Um, the feedback on their new mechanical keys. I mean, everybody goes with the, uh, the, the mechanical key on the market right now is the Cherry. Um, reds, blues, browns. Um, it looks like Logitech came out with their own. And um, I like it. It's... Uh, that is me bashing on the keys. So this is me bashing on my 710. So it's much quieter. Uh, smoother response, I think. I, I, I like it. It's really smooth keyboard. Oh, wait. Parts. <laughs> well, I'm babbling. Let's grab some parts. Um, it, it, it's... It's a good keyboard. I really like it. Uh, mouse, I went with the 700S. Um, I have a 700 already. Um, so it's a comfortable mouse. I'm already used to it. The button layout is right where I need it to be. So I went with what I know. Uh, and on top of that, the software is uh, all-encompassing. It basically it works for one. It works for all kind of thing. So... I'm all for that. So, yeah. All right, so we're getting this stuff put away. And we're gonna grab some more girders. If we have any, do we? Does not look like we do. Okay, so that's gonna be a problem, I think, early on. So we're gonna grab all the bulletproof glass. Let's take up here and see what we can weld up. Oh, that's gonna look so wicked cool, so even from the ship's perspective. Um, yeah, look at that. That's so nice. Oh man. All right, so let's get this in here. Let's go grab some more girders because I want to get that bottom glass welded up. Uh, we need to go to protection facility. Girders. Let's make more than uh, two. That might be a little bit more um, helpful. And so we only need 40 for that big glass, so let's go get that put in place. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. We got the mirrored point in the right direction. That's going to look cool. Alright, so we need some more bullet food class take some more of those too while we're at it and head down to the glass where are you glass wow okay so we don't have any of the glass you know where the glass was it's that scorpion one when we blew him up from driving absurdly I'm not going to say we that was all me that was entirely me. I say we a lot, but uh, I need to focus on saying uh, me when, yeah, it's a screw up. So, that's a thing. That just happened. So, we're going to go back to production. Bulletproof glass. Can we make 400 of those? We can. Let's go to the other one. Can you make a couple hundred of those too? 
Looks like you can. I believe in you. Alright, so let's grab all of that and all of that. And let's head up. Okay. Looks good. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. That looks pretty awesome. So what do you guys think? Huh? Is this uh is this something we should uh maybe do a little bit more of? Not sure. Okay, so that's that, that's that. You're needing glass, you're needing glass, and you're needing glass. Okay, so let's grab some more glass. I wanna finish loading up those couple parts. Burp, burp. Um so I got a couple of you guys are saying uh, recommendations for where should we should go with our hundred episode. Hundred episode. Um, honestly, I'm not sure who said it first, but I think there was two people who made comments about it. Uh, we're gonna blow stuff up. I really like that. Idea. Um, well, one, I haven't really stress tested my new system, so. That idea alone kind of made it worth it to me. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just uh, do pretty much like that viewer said. We're going to take and load a uh, single asteroid with as much uh, mini warheads and a few reactors full of uranium as we can fit. And <laughs> we're going to light the fuse. Oh man, this is like a great. Um, if we can get the glass to work, I'll do some kind of uh, little structure with the armor blocks. We have those new sloped armor blocks. I'll do kind of a little bit of sculpting on this outside edge here. And then maybe do something cool with like some lights or something on the inside. Um, not sure. I'll play around with it a little bit, see what I can get to work and what doesn't work. Um, go with this, with this. This way, this one goes this way, this one goes this way. And then we should put one of these, I think. Let it go here. Like so. Alright, so that's all of that. And. Let's see. Let's... Got a few more minutes here before I want to take off. So let's take a look at. Uh, Side right. I think we want this. I'm not sure. Um, let's try coming out here and see what happens. Oh, it's looking better. Okay, okay. No way. It's as simple as that. Okay, so this looks like this is going to be a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Um, then we should probably just take and put, um, go back to uh, seven, right? Yeah, all right, cool. So that's going to go there. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> All right, so I will I will work on it. I will get this uh, hashed out some way somehow. Like I said, even if it's putting armor blocks back in there instead of windowed, because you still have this really epic view. I think um, this would be awesome on a multiplayer server to just be able to come down this ramp, just be like boom, and see the ships coming and going. People walking around in the production facility, and yeah, I like this. This is going to look pretty slick, um, especially when you have your jetpack on and you don't fall away. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to continue to work on this. This will be a, 
either something I get done or something you guys will continue to see me uh, work with going forward. So either way, it's uh, it's in place. This is what I wanted to do. So like I said, I'll work on some type of structure to come down in the middle. Um, I just had an idea. Just we'll do this, and then we'll then we'll sign off. Um, so I can collect this. I guess like this. Let's go to the middle. Where's the middle? Where's the middle? Where's the middle? Where's the middle? Well, hey, we can put a block right in the middle, so that's that's helpful. Here I'm trying to do this, and uh, we just got to do that instead. So let's take this out. Okay, so we can walk underneath. That's cool. And then we can go and take. But this guy, um, not taking up our entire screen, like this. I uh, need construction components. Okay, let's go grab some of those real quick because I think <laughs> with jetpacks on, uh, I think that'll look pretty slick. So, do we need more than construction components? Computers and displays. Okay. Components will take. I guess I could have just taken 100 of them. Uh, computers will take all the computers. And displays. We don't have any displays. Uh, no displays! No displays! It looks like we're putting only one display up. Because we only have a couple computers as well. Alright, so production, display. I'll take 100 of those, please. Thank you. So we need 20 and 12. How many computers do we have? We've got eight. Production from this guy. Come over here. Computers, 100, please. Okay. Uh, inventory. There we go. Oh, wait. Did that max this out? Okay, we're good. Um, so on another side note as well, um, on that personal front thing. Um, not the bad one, or the Logitech one. Uh, I also did get a fan controller. So the jet turbine engine from, of my computer is going to go away as well. Uh, that was my, it was on my itinerary to update today, but uh, as I worked a very long day today, uh, that did not happen. So Boom. Boom. And boom. There, something like that. So while you're coming in, you'd be like, oh, cool, readout showing stuff going on around with, yeah. Maybe put some type of, put one of these lights maybe on top of it. Um, I don't know. Work in progress. Maybe we'll put another set of uh, a displays on there as well, kind of bring you in this direction. But you got to think this is how what you'll see it as you walk up to it is this angle. Because over here, this is not turned back far enough to give the full effect. So I don't know. That's where we're going with things. So put a light down here. Throw this guy down. Boom. And we have light. So it's lit. Alright, so we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, let me know what you guys think about my idea for this uh, little uh, observatory area for our museum. This is something I've been wanting to tackle for a while. We haven't added anything to the base either as far as the cosmetic tree cosmetic tree of it I think that's the word if not I invented a word um, we added some lights but those are more function than than anything um, the welding ring <laughs> was meant for function and but it has not performed its task I think it's cool even if we don't use this as like an observatory, we could turn it into a, a command station or something, you know, put some 
chairs in here or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, what do you think about on the 100th episode blowing stuff up? Because, like, back in 50, we, uh, we did the, the spotlight thing. So maybe we'll do that on the 50s. How's that sound? 150, here we come. All right. So this is Havoc. Have fun. And uh, as always, keep getting.